All right, so I'm uh, going to teach you quickly how to play Tell It Like It Is. This is the heart version that used to, they covered back in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, we used to play it with uh, a female vocalist that was very good and had that range where she could sing it, just like uh, Ann Wilson, basically. But anyway, um, it's got some kind of jazzy chords here. It's starting off with a, well, you're starting off with this intro chord. So that's a, looks like an augmented chord. You, you got the D, I mean a G note on the third fret, high G. And then you're putting your second finger on the D sharp on the B string. Come above that with, uh, we're playing a B note there. And then you got the pinky is on the G note on the fourth string, fifth fret. And you just go, let it ring out a little bit. And then she'll start singing, if you, and you're playing a D minor seventh here. So that's, you're barring the fifth fret, got your middle finger on the B string on the sixth fret, and then you come up here on the seventh string on the fourth fret. So you, that's one of the main chords that you'll be playing throughout this tune. So you go. You stroke it down and then you give it an up stroke real quick so that it sounds like this. So you're hitting a, you're putting your pinky on the eighth fret on the B string, sort of like giving it a suspended note there. To a G7. And then you come back to this chord. To a C chord. So that's how it's getting started there. So you ring off the intro with this chord, and you come to the D minor seventh. G7. So what you're doing there, and you could skip this if you know if you don't feel comfortable playing it, but just you're hitting a little riff here where it's the A note fifth fret on the E string to the uh, G note, third fret, and then you come to the B string on the fifth fret. So that's going to be your E note there. So you could also go just play an open note if you would like, but so it's to a C chord after that. So you have... C chord, and then you go, and what that is, that's like a D chord formation, but you're putting your index finger on the fifth fret, fourth string, the D string, and then two strings below on the second string, the B string, fifth fret as well, and then you come over here like you're making a D up the fretboard and one string up. So in other words, if you're playing a D, slide it to the fifth fret and then bring everything up one string. And you hit that on the fifth to the eighth. So it's kind of little transitional chords here where it goes back to the D minor seventh. G7. Play that C a few times through. Go through the verse again. Sometimes I'll get lazy on this chord and just play the bottom three uh, strings because you're going pretty quickly. Now the second time around it's cool. It goes to the build up where you go. So it's C, D, D sharp, E minor. 
you strum it and then you pick the bottom up bottom three strings one two three from the bottom to a minor E minor, 7th fret. A minor. And just to familiarize it in case, you know, the E minor is um, that minor bar chord here. You can do these open chords too. Just sounds a little better if you can play the bar chords up the neck. And then it ends by going to the E minor to the F. And then you strum the B string, second string, third string, fourth string. And then you bring it up all the way, two more frets up to a G. back to that opening chord. So it, it'll sound like this as you do the build up. So you're going. Okay, here comes the build up here. A minor. And back to the verse. G7. Coming up to the solo here. So let's show you the solo real quick. It's pretty cool. All right, so as you're doing the walk up, the rhythm guitar is doing the... So the lead, again, and this is the heart version, so um, you're going to start off on... It's going to be like a... So what that is, 12th fret, B string, and you just walk up 13th fret, 15th fret, up to the 17th fret. Slide back down to the 15, 13 and 12, and then 14, 12 on the G string. So it's, let it sustain a little bit, kind of. Move it around a little to get some sustain in there if you can. Bend it up. All the way to the um, E note there. 14th fret, four, uh, 4th string. So that's the first part of the solo. Second part, you come back, do the same beginning. And then you come back to the B string and do a little thing, kind of quick little. So that it'll sound like this.
So that's just something you can practice in. Um, it may just take a little bit, but it's not too bad. So the first two uh, parts of the solo are. And then it comes around third time. Right up to there, and then you come back and do the. So you're on the 17th fret here now, third string in the first string. Hitting twice on the third string and then once on the bottom. And then you go up to the 19th fret, same thing. 17th, 16th, and then the 15th on the uh, E string. So. And then you bend the B string <clears throat> on the 15th fret. <clears throat> so let's go over that real quickly one more time. I know it's a lot. But uh, first part of the solo. Mm -hmm. Bend, bend it again. 14, 12, 14. Second part of the solo and the tricky part. Starts just like that again. So you got 15, 13, 12, back to 13, 12. You do that twice on the G string. And then the last part. Four times you do that, and then up to the 19th, twice, 17th, twice, 16th, and that bend is the last note of the solo. So, you know, that's uh, it's a pretty little jazzy kind of solo that's it's fun to play. And then you'll go back into the verse. Fun to play this song with a little reverb or delay to get a little sustain on these chords. Now the song ends and Dan Wilson is singing, tell it, tell it, like, you know, she's just wailing on that note. And then meanwhile, just playing the same verse as she keeps singing, tell it like it is. And it ends by doing this little riff at the end. Pretty little thing that goes, it's sliding on the top string all the way to the 12th fret, 10th fret on the A string, 12th fret, two times, 10th fret, 12th fret, and then you form a C chord. So that sounds like this at the very end. And that's it. Tell it like it is, the heart version. Hopefully that's similar to the Aaron Neville and other version of the song, but that'll hopefully get you going and you might just be able to change the keys with it. So enjoy and uh, hope you enjoy playing that one.